I'm all the world. Oh, pardon me. Hang about. 26. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't gone round and twisted. Just since my dad rewired me front room, I've discovered 26 different ways to turn the lights off. 26 different ways. I think he was working from the handyman's Karma Sutra. <laughs> Chapter 4, ACDC. Oh, incidentally, if there's any children watching, you mustn't do that. No, because people think you're stupid. <laughs> now, honestly, since my dad decided to be a handyman, he's been a right menace. The only thing handy about my old man is that he lives around the corner. <laughs> handyman. <laughs> All right, yeah. <clears throat> no, seriously, he's, re he's repaired his own central heating. Oh, it makes a noise like, well, you try to imagine Concord as it the Dagenham Gell Pipers. That's it. <laughs> On a cold winter evenings around the area, it's all teletext and lip reading. <laughs> Since he's rewired his house, everything is alive. Well, except their cat, Rover. He made the mistake of standing on some wet lino and sticking his nose in some live milk. Oh, dear. First time I've ever heard a cat go woof. <laughs> woof. <laughs> My poor old mum's had so many shocks, she glows in the dark. Oh, blimey. If she's got her hand in a sink and you touch the light switch, down she goes. Hard to believe, innit? I didn't believe it. Till he showed me. He's given her the kiss of life so many times, it's like a second honeymoon. So eventually she chucks him and his toolbox out into the street. Where does he go? Come round here and start again. If I were a carpenter and you were a lady, would you marry me anyway? And ever my baby. Look, if I was a if I was a carpenter, go on, state of that lot, mate, you'd never get a leg over. Mm, about time and all. I'm spitting feathers here. Yeah? yeah, I thought you was. You've got a mouth like a parson's nose. Yeah. Don't you be so lippy, Jim. Otherwise, I shall pack up my tool bag and leg it. Oh, good job and all. Then where would you be, eh? Ungrateful git. <laughs> well, look at that window. There's nothing wrong with it when you started. Now, look at it. What's the, what's the matter with it? Yeah, well, I haven't finished it yet, have I? Be a handsome job when it's done. You wait and see. Well, what's these things? Ain't they supposed to be part of the gubbins or something? Yeah, well, that's what was wrong with it, wasn't it? Some silly burks put them lumps of metal in there, haven't they? <laughs> so they them out. Of course, you haven't noticed I've uh, done your wall lights for you, have you? Do they look the business or what? <laughs> well, ain't the same on how come that one's higher up than that one? They ain't! You've had too many of them. Anyway, they ain't supposed to be the same, of course, uh, well, they're the... Uh, the uh, latest thing, aren't they? What, odd wonky wall lights? <laughs> uh, it's that Art Nouveau, isn't it? Art Nouveau, you wally. What's this? Made in Taiwan? Mm, they look all right, aren't they? Yeah, they work, though. Of course they work. Not just a pretty face, you know. Yes, well, this won't buy the baby a new hat, will it? I better get on with it. <laughs> oh, f it's all winning, isn't it? Someone's left the gate open at Battersea Dogs Home again. Okay, that bad, son. That one of the pickles is all right. You take it the right way. Yeah, preferably by the throat. <laughs> Sorry, me. Yeah, I thought it was you, love. We heard the broom pull up. <laughs> broom? In the broom, what you came here on. Oh, never mind. Don't you take any notice of him, love. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I've got to go. Anything you want, see Dad, all right? Oh, I'm sorry to be so troublesome, Jim, but I find myself short again. Yeah, so did the 5,000 love, but they had to make do with bread and fishes. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, he's a carpenter. Blow down his ear. <laughs> Bye. Uh, has he been sniffing your varnish or something, Mr London? He's acting very strange. Uh, he's always been a bit funny, that one, love. Oh, really? Tell me more. Uh, so I remember when he was a nipper, I used to ask him what he wanted to be when oh, he grew up. Oh, a train driver, I bet. I can just imagine him playing with his little whistle. Uh, no, nothing like that, no. <laughs> No, he always wanted to be a sex maniac. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, what was it you was after that? Bisto. Hey? I've run out of Bisto. Ah, oh, Bisto. Yes, I've got to have a gander through his drawers. <laughs> oh. 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 Needs a woman's touch here, Jim. Oh, that's nice. I've always fancied one over the sideboard. <laughs> you silly cow, you stupid, stupid silly I didn't 
tell you about Tonka before, Jim, because I stopped seeing him on a regular basis when he was sent to prison. Oh, I can see how a little thing like prison would get in the way, yeah. What did he get Bird for, actually? Oh, what was it his brief called it at the trial? Oh, yeah, crime of passion. Yeah, that was it. Oh, poor old Tonka. Crime of passion? What did he do, nick a load of fruit? <laughs> no, nothing like that. He beat the living daylights out of one of my new boyfriends. <laughs> oh, well, that's all I need, isn't it? Yeah, very passionate is Tonka. They call him that because he's unbreakable. <laughs> Good that, innit? Yeah, brilliant, yeah. Just as well he's banged up in a jug and out of the way then, eh? Oh, no. Came out yesterday, he did. <laughs> he wants me back, but I said no. Said I was happy with you. Oh! Oh, great, yeah. Big geezer, is he? Like muscly and eats cow pie and all that. Oh, yeah. Much bigger than you. Some people think he looks like Garth. You know, that cartoon. Six foot four. He's nuts over me. <laughs> no, I reckon he would be, yeah. I like my men big. Well, most of the time. <laughs> anyway, he was very understanding when I told him about us, so there's nothing to worry about, Jim. Who's worried? Anyway, let's forget all about him. Let's talk about our weekend at Sheppy, eh? I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. Yes, yeah, so am I. You want another drink? No, I'd better get back to work. Right. right, I'll meet you in here tonight at half seven. Till tonight. See ya. Yeah, you just wait till tonight. <laughs> in, in my opinion, the whole project is a complete waste of ratepayers' money. I will protest you, mark my... my excuse me. <laughs> Oh, ignore them, Mr. Moggs. It's the best way. Disgraceful-looking creature. Who learned me all darling? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Woof. Oh. <laughs> Hi, lads. Oh, you had me worried. I didn't think you was turning up. Where's Dermot, then? Yes, oh. I thought as much, London. I thought these two fellows would be friends of yours. Well, what's up, Barney? What's up? What's up? Why, well, these two persons... I have... think I'll dig them right off the gob. What do you say, mate? <laughs> Don't, don't, one, eh? Don't. What did he say? Well, roughly translated, on, you're well on offer for a smack in the mouth, mate. <laughs> You've got the keys to the caravan, then? Ah, well, Jim, we do be having the keys, all right, only there's a small little problem. Oh, <clears throat> don't tell me. Nothing for you to get all head up about, Jimmy, lad. Just a small wee minor problem. Yeah, but you see... <clears throat> It's like this now, Jimmy, me old bed of roses. You see, me and me old mates here now have been wickedly and unjustly thrown out of our digs, tossed into the street by a cruel and heartless heathen woman. How come? Well, now, it's funny you should ask that, so I'll tell you, Jimmy, why. See, it is all down to Dermot. Dermot and a matter of a small, you know, harmless, traditional religious service. The heathen woman raised an objection to it, so she did. Dermot and a religious service? Oh, aye. Now we're a homeless, without a roof over our heads till Monday. Yeah. Ah, it is very sad we are. Ah, it is sad, all right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if we're not fixed up, you know, well, we'll have to use our caravan down at Sheppey. So you see the problem that we're in now, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, what if you tried, uh... Yeah? No, that's no good. No. Oh, you could ask. Yeah. No, that's no good either. No, no, no. I've got a good idea. Yeah, I thought you might have. All right, listen, I want the place looking after, all right? I just know why didn't I think of that. So that's a grand idea altogether. Yeah, just till Monday, mind. I yes, said, of course, Jim Bobby, yeah. I mean, do we look now the type that'd like to you? <laughs> oh, dear me, it's this him down out there. It's him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, drop the rain of a cup paint or a good drink, up, did it? <coughs> Gone rusty or something. Hey. Oh, just like Mother used to make. I'll stick to that grease in 2000 if I was you, mate. Do what? What's all that on your boat? Oh, silly cow. <laughs> it frightens me to with inches of the grave it did. And to think I once asked your dad to do a little job for me. Oh, he'd do that all right. Just his light fittings are a bit iffy, that's all. Going away, are we? Matter of fact, I am, yeah. So if you want anything, you'll have to help yourself now. Oh, well, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wonder. I'm 
I meant out me cupboards and that, oh, didn't I? Oh, you are a funny one, Jim. Now, look, your dad told me all about your ambitions. Do what? Yeah, he told me what you wanted to be when you grew up. Well, I can help you, Jim. I could get you to A-level standard in no time at all. <laughs> what do you know about trains, then? Oh. <laughs> I've blown a few whistles in my time, Jim. <laughs> well, I bet you have trouble. Is the peas worn out of mine, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, look, really, really, love, I've got to go. Look, if you're staying, look, just turn the lights out afterwards and put the wood in here. All right, I've got to go, love. Bye. Maybe I'm being too subtle for him. Yes, that's it. He's not getting the right signals. Still, he's young, he's young and slim and virile. Oh. You'll make a wanton woman of me, Jim London. <laughs> That's is a grand little caterpillar. You'll be as snug as a bog and a rog, so you will, Jim. Yeah, now, about my place, right? I don't want too much noise. I don't want to come back and have rucks with me neighbours. Oh. What a gentleman! We'll be as quiet as the grave, so we will. <laughs> ah, we will, ah, we will that. Mind you now, have a good time yourself. Uh, well, be seeing you now, Jim. Strange you are. Don't forget the horse. Yeah, yeah, the nose bag's under the pillar. <laughs> horse? No, a bit of Qatar, I think. <laughs> Do you know, that's the first time I've ever known them two to leave here before closing time. Hey, what's with all the uh, key swapping in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder myself, mate. Here, is that clock right? Yeah, to the second. Oh, God, she's late. If you don't get here in a minute, mate, we're going to miss the train. Yeah. London, do you know anything about electrics by any chance? All my blinking lights seem to have blown. Keep it out of the tree. Don't get it in the gutter, man. There, no. Left, left, down, down. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bring the round in the name of the There's 17, that's Jim's place there. Put it on there. Right. In the barrel. At least the lads are getting some ale at the moment. What time will they be arriving? Ah, they'll be arriving quite soon now. Ah, well, here we are. <laughs> uh, damn it, we've arrived, boy. <laughs> oh, put your hands down. Put your hands down. <laughs> Steady on, Michael, will ya? You? You'll be busting it. Never mind, it slipped out of my hands, didn't it? Go on. Right. Push it up onto the step now. Oh. Come on, on to me back. On to me right. back. Straight in with him. Right <laughs> you know, he was never this big when he was alive. Ah, oh, try to be. <laughs> Isn't that a grand idea? Tis so. <laughs> I wonder what they'll think of next. Put it down now. Tell me, you're a dead weight. <laughs> How would you mind where you put your feet down if what you made me do? I couldn't help it, could I? I stubbed me toe. Ah, well, I think we stubbed more than. Dermot's old toe. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear Dermot. Don't worry about the thing. Come on. Well, uh, a good job his nose was a bit in the bent side already, what? Yeah. Well, I think there's more than his nose bent now. <laughs> God bless all here. But he was off and hidden, huh? He was that. Uh... Tell me. Yeah, I think he felt it when we dropped him on his nose. Of course he did, you big soft thing. Should he was as hard as old boots. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 
It's all right, Dermot, it, just doing your good turn. <laughs> Oh, Jim Soul thought I'd uh, Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, dear. What's going on here, <laughs> Gordon Bennett, what's it? Aye, well, it was all of a sudden, like, you know, one minute he was there and the next, well, quick as a light switch. What? <laughs> oh, 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 it's all my fault. I blame myself. <laughs> Crying shame, all right. <laughs> so it is. What's all the lights on, sir? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's gone. Me one and only son, gone. <laughs> Out like a light. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> Freemason's arms. Hold on, I'll just get him for you. Jimbo, it's your bird on the blower. She's scrubbing you out, mate. Wash your mouth out. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you what, yeah? What? Tonka? About us? Oh, God, who told He's on his way here. Well, what time did he leave? Oh, he could be here any minute. Oh, Yeah, yes, Mum. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll, I'm coming round right now. Bye, Mum. You know, I have a geezer named London. Jim London. Skinny little runt. <laughs> Never heard of him, mate. <laughs> Can't stop, got to catch a train. Uh, London? No, Brighton, actually. <laughs> Live around here, do you? I am a resident of the locale, yes. <laughs> does that mean you live around here, pal? Uh, yes, it does. As a matter of fact, I happen to be a member of the Borough Council. Can I help you in any way, my good man? Only if you can tell me where I find a runt named Jim London. I want to have a nice little talk with him. Know what I mean? Oh, yes. Well, in point of fact, uh, the uh, fellow who just left, that was he, actually, uh, Jim London. He lives right next door to me. <laughs> Where? Uh, uh, 17 Railway Terrace, Elephant and Castle. First right, second left, can't miss it. <laughs> Blimey, Councillor, you'll murder Jim, that one. Nonsense. Seemed a perfectly reasonable fellow to me. <laughs> it's such a waste. He was not a subtle man, you know. But I tried. I tried to make his short stay in this life a more rewarding time. It's such a waste. He was a dark horse, that's for sure, eh, Michael? Aye. <laughs> and a bloody selfish one, if you ask me. That's a grand looking filly there, yeah. you know. You're a gritty pig. And you think that I once give him a new pair of wellies? <laughs> what? Where is he? Not a try to like London. If you're a friend of Chief, brace yourself. It was so, so quick. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> That's Jim London. Was. Oh, hold me. Comfort me. <laughs> oh. oh, you're a big boy. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cry. I, I can't stand to see a lady cry. Hold me tight. <laughs> Comfort me. <laughs> look, look. Uh, I've got to go. Oh. Sorry about Jim. All right. And stay away from my girl! <laughs> Be jeebus. Did you hear that? Hey. That man there was an animal. I'd done me to around the old side. Uh, I'm a 
remember when he was a nipper. Did I, did I ever tell you that he used to wet the bed? <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't have quite put it like that. Right? <laughs> put it like what? Well, like what you just said. Psst. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't have quite put it like that. Hello? It's me, your pair of wallets. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Talking about, I mean, I've just climbed over the back fence. I mean, what's going on here? Did you come back? You're a ghost. I haven't been anywhere. Oh, look, oh, what's going on in here? Oh, sorry, son. Yeah, yeah, bloody yeah, paddies yeah, having a party. Yeah, 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 Oi, that's a bloody yeah, coffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, <laughs> it's a bit of a wake to be having. A wake? Who's dead? Aye, your man in the coffin. <laughs> Who is he? That's his old Dermot. Oh, Dermot. Aye, aye, aye. Come on, one eye, we'll be moving them out then. Excuse me. Well, <laughs> sorry we are about this, but it was this, or back in the cart and hoofing it down to Sheppy. Aye, aye, Shall we make no offence no, Jim? Honest. <coughs> Hang on, lads. Look. Now, look, old, old Dermot was a mate of mine, old Dermot. Yeah, he's got me out of trouble a few times, as he has. I'll tell you what, take him out first thing in the morning. You mean? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Dermot. You're a good lad. Yeah. May you go to the big brewery in the sky. Yeah, yeah. You're a grand fella, Jim White. You're a real diamond. <laughs> Three cheers for Jim. Oh, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. I've just got to go and sort Dad out. I think he's had one over the eight. Listen, Jim, a grand fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There's a ruffian on his way round to kill you. Oh, my God. I'm too late. <laughs>